Hi, my name is Paweł Spychalski and since my few months old video about the low pass filters and uh, presentation how the low pass filters in the electronics, but not only, work got some popularity in the internet recently, I decided to go with the flow and this time make a video about the, the opposite of the low pass filters, about the high pass filters. How high pass filter is capable of filtering out, attenuating the frequencies that are below its cutoff frequencies and passing the frequencies in the signal that are higher with the frequency than the cutoff frequency. So, we have our hardware, we have the filter, let's go to the more detailed view. What I have over here is a very simple experiment designed to show you how the high pass filter, electrical, electronic high pass filter is working. This is the filter itself. It's the capacitor, one microfarad connected in series between the input and the output, in this case the scope, and one resistor in parallel to that. The diagram for the high pass filter should be right now somewhere here on the screen. The yellow trace you can see over here is the signal that the signal generator is generating right now. The signal generator is supposed to generate 100 Hz and uh, if we can, if you will be able to see this, it's also reading 100 Hz. The filter itself is designed to have a cutoff frequency of 1592 Hz. That means everything below that will be attenuated more than by 3 decibels and everything, all the frequencies above that will be attenuated less than 3 decibels. Of course, there will be some voltage uh, leakage because of the resistor in parallel, but this is not important in our, our scenario. If the input frequency will be below 1592 hertz, we should see pretty nice attenuation. If it will be above the 1592 hertz, the attenuation will be much, 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 much smaller. Like I said, right now we have 100 hertz on the input to the filter and we are reading on the scope exactly the same value. Let me enable the channel 2, which right now is over here, is a thin blue line. The scale of both inputs is the same, they are scaled at 2 volts. And if I will right now lower the frequency, you should be able to see that the bottom line is flatter and flatter and flatter. That means the filter is really filtering this signal passed through it. If I will right now try to increase the frequencies, that will mean that the filter will be attenuating the input signal slightly less. 100 Hz, 200 Hz, 300 Hz. Let's scroll up a little at 1 kHz. As you can see, the difference between the input and the output is getting smaller and smaller. 1500 and above that value, we should not really have much of the attenuation of the filter. Still, some of the voltage will be leaking out through the resistor to the ground, but this is not important. High frequency, right now at uh, 1900 Hz, and both input and output traces look almost the same. Now, let's lower the frequency. And let's change the scaling a little. And the output trace is flatter and flatter and flatter. This is how high pass filter works. It cuts frequencies, the signal below the cutoff frequencies, while passes almost unchanged the signal with the frequency above the cutoff frequency. Now, um, high frequency high pass filters can be also used to filter some of the parts of the signal. Oh, right now we have some kind of the emergency outside, so maybe I will just take a short pause. Okay, let me disable the channel 2 with the output and on the channel 2 of the signal generator I have the 
high frequency signal of 3 kHz. Let me connect that to our filter and let's see how this will affect our input signal. As you should be see, able to see right now, the signal we had before right now is slightly more complex. Not only we have this low frequency 100 Hz baseline, but also here, if I will zoom in, we can see that here we have 3 kHz additional signal. Because we are using high pass filter, we can only filter out the low pass, the lowest frequency that the cutoff. Will the filter will be able will the filter be able to do it? This is our and re let's run continuous. This is the input. Let's see how the out output output looks like. Hmm. Interesting, right? We do have high pass component of our signal visible as a blue line on the output, yet the low frequency component of the signal was filtered out. This is great when we just want to filter out, for example, the carrier wave. This is not good to removing the high frequency noise because, of course, this is the high pass filter, but we can filter out, for example, the carrier wave or some lower frequencies, distortions to the signal we might be getting somewhere. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Until the next one. Bye-bye.